Thanksgiving. I know we sure did. I'm um, doing a little bit of cleaning, folding my laundry because I deserve to have clean folded laundry, and getting ready for Sandy Yaw to come over because she's going to teach me how to make a quesadilla on my car's engine. How's everyone doing? I figure we should have a little check in. The holidays can be like a really stressful time, but they can also be like a really lovely time with family. But I feel like sometimes we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to like present perfectly and to do everything in just the right way and accommodate the spirit and magic of Christmas or Hanukkah or Thanksgiving. And when we do that, I think we put um, a toxic amount of pressure on ourselves to be something that doesn't really exist and that is perfect. And so I just wanted to come on here and remind everybody that the magic of holiday season is just, you know, joy and love. And uh, if you're doing something that you don't necessarily want to be doing, dude, I empower you to cancel those plans. Who cares? You don't want to go to your aunt's house? Don't go to your aunt's house. I empower you to take hold of this holiday season and live it in the best way you possibly can because when you think about it we get many days in a year but we only get so many holidays so don't waste them trying to be something for someone else. Um, be of service, live in gratitude because that is a hell of a drug and remember that you're entitled to a holiday too so give yourself a gift this holiday season and take the pressure off. You're doing a good job. And if you do have to do something for whatever reason that you don't really want to do, protect your peace. Ain't nobody coming for your peace today. Like I could have lost it over that door slam right there during my poignant message to my people, but instead I'm protecting my peace. Ain't nobody gonna f with my peace today. Ain't nobody gonna f with my peace this holiday season. Protect your peace. That'll do, pig. All they can do at this point is check with the weather every morning and make a decision. That's the good one. Look, and I wore my dog shirt to show them I'm dog friendly, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like please love me. I have dogs for dogs too. <laughs> they're not gonna they're not gonna they, they're just bad boys. I, know. I looked at him and he started barking. I was like, okay, I'm gonna walk away. Yeah. <laughs> Cute little face. Cindy's here. Yay! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go pick up the supplies that we need to make the quesadilla on a car engine. Yes. And are we using your car? <laughs> We're gonna take your car. My car's got dog piss no, on the front I'm, seat. I'm gonna do the quesadilla on your car. <laughs> no. Oh, we should. Do you drive a Prius? A Camry. Let's do it on yours, cause I think that my my engine's less warm. Okay. I did tell Jared. I'm an I idiot. I don't know. I just made that up in my heart. <laughs> I, by the I way. Jared, the idea, and he was like, you know, it takes a long time to heat stuff up, right? Like from an like on an engine. I guess he used to like try to heat up his lunches on the engine. <laughs> what that it would be something Jared would do. Hold on, I'm gonna psychotically make sure my door's locked. Okay. This is what anxiety looks like. I'm gonna pull the car around. Okay. Oh, you do that too, but you at least three times more. Oh, it's not shut. Good thing I checked. Wow. <laughs> Nothing like reinforcing your OCD anxiety, like being right about something you up. We're back. I gotta turn off the, f the football. Bubbo's eating his stress carrot <laughs> so that he doesn't have to be an asshole. 
I really love your coping mechanism, Bobo. I think it shows really, really good growth. There we go. We're trying to figure out workflow because we're also doing something over on Sandy's vlog channel. So you're gonna have to check that out there. So what we're doing is we were gonna make a quesadilla on the car, but then I was like, I'd rather have a panini. So we're gonna make a panini on the car. And by on the car, I mean on the car's engine. Yes. We're gonna heat it up on the car engine and we'll see how good it is. <laughs> Do you know how long it takes to heat it up? I don't know. I don't really make grilled cheese. And I've never done are, you, are we just intuiting this or do you have like a flow like you have a I think we're just gonna I think how long do you think we're gonna supposed to heat up the engine for I thought you would know well I don't think it like heats let's up we'll, we'll google it we're gonna google it BRB yeah. paninis on an engine block Jeep engine paninis little Sunday fun day making a grilled cheese at the truck park at the tailgate joint in front of a great stadium, whether you've seen a big show, a huge game, it don't matter, you're ready to party. So get your hood pop, take some of your sandwiches, your paninis, put them on the engine block, lightly lower your hood, let it sit for 10, 12, baby. After a little while, we're gonna crack the hood and crack open one of these sandwiches. So it's 10 to 15 minutes, is what you said? Yeah, but I've never been so confused about a workflow in my life. So you just skeet up in a bitch, Bro. Do you need to discuss here? Let's get you a little rest here. Yeah. Come on. Write about that in your diary. So I, yeah. think, I think when we're done, you just you end it off with like, yeah, we're ready to party, bro. Oh no! I've I forgot I'm doing a big Christmas reveal, but you guys can see all the Christmas around. Forget you saw this. <laughs> forget it, forget it. Okay, so yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll up in this bitch and then we're gonna put the on that shit and yeah yeah and that's how to grill a cheese uh, sandwich <laughs> eat that shit up okay so am i in frame you're perfect so we just put the cupcakes <laughs> we just put her cupcakes in the oven and now we're gonna make the paninis for us and she said should i go warm up the car <laughs> let's go warm up the engine <laughs> Engine. He's a little oh, engine. You're so cute. I love you, but you're so bad. Okay, yeah, let's go warm up the car. Let's warm it up. We're gonna warm it up. Is it okay? is it safe to just leave your car running? I think she's just in there revving the engine. Do you want to pull into my driveway? Yeah. I'm trying to like rub the engine to get it hot. Hot, 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 hot. Wait, how do you drive a car? Backwards. <laughs> This car's like murdered out. Are your windows hella tinted? Let me know if I'm close. That's good. It's an inside joke if you've seen Sandy's video, which you should go see if you haven't seen it yet, but I keep flipping off the camera because I don't know what else to do with these hands. Okay, let's cross our fingers. Sorry, Jared. It was for the panini. <laughs> look at my little man. Oh, look at it. Him's so cute, guys. He's just a baby and he loves his mommy. And that's all he knows. Poor baby. Do you want to prep the panini? Do I want to prep the panini? Mm -hmm. I've never wanted to do something more. Okay, so I think we'll put it up into this. I think he was just upset that I'm like dancing. He's upset that anyone exists. And he's like, you're not a good dancer, just stop. Oh, sorry, but I didn't mean to hit you with the tripod. That was not nice. I'm sorry. You stay out there though, because you will grumpy Gus. <laughs> cute. Oh, look at this little face. It's a cute little guy. And was he always like that? Yeah. He's always been a shitty little bitch. But then he's so nice to you guys. I know. So that makes it like it's really complicated. Special. And Icky will just panic piss anywhere he wants. <laughs> Which is really cute. <laughs> so it's essentially like a um, like a baked potato. 
right? Oh, because it's wrapped in tin foil? Yeah. I think so. I'm cutting the bread kind of thin because mm -hmm. I'm worried it's not going to mm -hmm. heat. Okay, so that's that's done. That the heat's not going to go through if it's too thick. Yeah. I got a lot of worries. <laughs> and then I have, because it's the holidays, I have a little, a little meat platter. And then I have some of this, which is delicious. Man, so this is like next level panini. I think maybe. I also have some mozzarella. And then some of this. Robo, it's not cute. It's not cute. Or I could just do some cheddar. Cheddy. Cheddy? I think cheddy. Well, do you think cheddy is going to melt best? I think if I shred it or grate it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. We're going back over here. We're going to grate the cheddy. Cheddy graters. <laughs> He'll get full. He'll do anything for food. He will. He's a desperate food junkie. Boom. And then I'm gonna butter both sides of the bread. Yeah, I know, you wanna be in here, but you're a bad dog. Yeah, it's, de it's devastating, but you make certain choices in life and this is how the cookie crumbles. We're trying to teach him, you know, yeah. consequences, actions, consequences. It's hard. But it helps when you have food. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so I think we're gonna do 10 to 15 minutes on the engine. Uh-huh. <laughs> Close the hood. Yeah. And just wait for the party to get started. <laughs> Let's get the party started. <laughs> I just love how that guy said it. Get the party started. Okay, that cheese is mother grated, B. Ooh, okay. Can you see the food? You can't see the food, yeah. So now I'm gonna butter the back sides. Ooh, feel like I can hear the fire going on in the oven. That's good sign. Or is that somebody? Getting in the car, <laughs> taking off. Is it? No. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Good check. All right. All right. All right. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Shut your mouth, Bobo. Okay. Cheese layer. I'm gonna do these sort of pepperoni looking guys. Yes. Yeah. looks so delicious. Should I make two? Do you want one? No. <laughs> No, that's disgusting. <laughs> okay, and then another little cheese layer. <laughs> wow, that's a super... You could just have a little bit. You could just have a little bit. That's an insanely thick panini. I'm gonna press it down. No sense in wasting good cheese. I'm gonna press it down. <laughs> okay, and then we press it down. And then we wrap it up like a little burrito. Yeah. Great. Ugh. Okay, now we take oh it out. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be tasty. Do we, and now we just do it? I think we just do it. <gasps> oh, fuck. <laughs> do we have to worry about burning our hands on the hood? I'm gonna say no, but I don't know. How does it lift? I think it lifts. I think there's like a button. <laughs> God help us. Should I go get Joe? <laughs> this is no, bad. No, we can figure it this out. This is bad for feminism. <laughs> I think I, oh. I have triple A. <laughs> Should I go? Yeah, I think I know how to do it. Oh, oh, oh. And then that's the engine. I think this goes right there. Awesome. Ta-da. Okay. Honestly, I'm scared. I'm gonna be real with you. This is terrifying, dude. All right, ready? It's going down. Oh shit, I know. <laughs> so now we just wait? Slam it all the way, yeah. Okay. Well, we're just gonna wait it out now. <laughs> Spooky. I don't know if it's hot enough. I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> Locked. We didn't. We didn't even do a field test. It felt warm. Okay. Wow, you're just going in there with your hand. <laughs> yeah.
Sandy, you're rolling. Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if it's gonna get hot. <laughs> That's, his, that's how I <laughs> that's how I make our paninis. How do you make your paninis? <laughs> We're tailgating in the front yard. <laughs> we just make it more weird for people walking by. And I just love how we do this in front of a Tesla. <laughs> I know. I just, I, Joe was, because when I told Joe we were doing it, he's like, I don't think your Prius can heat it up. Do you want to see the damage to my car from Jamie yes. Ryland's house? So if you guys remember, I recently drove my car into Ryland's house. <laughs> Oops. So funny. <laughs> <laughs> Which I know to this day he thinks I'm lying about, but I swear to God I'm not. Wait, is this it? Yeah. That's the damage. Wait, did it break the the light too? Oh shit! Did it break <laughs> the light? I didn't even know. Yeah, it broke the light. Well, wow. somebody, Rylan, better be paying for this damage. Yeah, Rylan, it seems like you're fiscally responsible for this. <laughs> shit. Oh my God! I didn't even realize it broke the light. I really hit the shit of your house, buddy, and that is my bad. I also want to say that Prius is a really good car because it's still up and running. Bro, well, here's the thing. Did I tell you the story? I think I watched the video. But he he paints me in a nasty light. Because <laughs> also, in that vlog, it wasn't fair because we were just having like a normal conversation uh -huh. and then he started filming it. So we were still in the <laughs> discovery period of that whole situation. Hold on, am I rolling? <laughs> so were you just like still processing it as he was No, I, it? I was just figuring it out. I was oh, piecing yeah. it together because earlier that day, I'd been like, someone hit my car, who did it? Next time I met Ryan, and then I remembered, I'd been at Ryland's house with my dogs to go swimming, and my car, cause it's like, it's breaking down. I'll hit the park, I'll like engage the park, yeah. and it won't park. And I learned that at Ryland's house, cause I pressed park, and then I turned around to deal with the dogs in the back seat, and my husband's like, you're still rolling, like your car's not in park. And I was like, oh no. Or I think he just said something like, babe, 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 babe. But like, it should have just been like, you're not in park. Like it should have been something <laughs> actionable. And then I only, like I slammed it into park, but like there was no like impact. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it was like, if I, if I hit you, like you feel, you see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Inertia. There was no inertia involved. My moment, like it never happened. It never happened. And then I got out and I looked at Ryland's house, no damage. Yeah. On my hand to God, Wait, no damage. So where, so what you're doing is you're accusing the car not working no, no, properly. No, no, I'm just saying at the, in the, when, yes, it is the car's <laughs> fault. <laughs> Absolutely, it is the car's fault. But now the more I look at it, like the first time I saw it, I just saw white paint on yeah. the car and I didn't see how bad the damage was. And now like um, months even passed, I'm realizing the lamp, the light is broken. Yeah. So there must be broken light at the scene of the crime, but I looked at the time and there was nothing. And you're positive you did it at Ryland's. Oh, hundred percent, it's on camera. <laughs> and there's damage to the house, right where it happened. Well. And that's the color of the house on the bumper. What a great memory for you guys to have. <laughs> what I love is that because they have all those security cameras, this mother has got coverage on coverage of beef running into his house. Wait, so they actually have coverage of yeah. beef? And I didn't know, but Ryland doesn't believe that I didn't know. Yeah. And it's like, if I didn't, if I did know, why would I bring it up months later? Yeah. Well, here well we are. I mean, I think that yeah, it was clearly traumatizing for you. And I'm very <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> Literally, the light is busted out. What the f Damn. And that's, and that's on trauma. See, your brain will do things for you that you can't do for yourself. So mm -hmm. if you forget it, forget it, girl. Leave it in the past. We black that <laughs> for a reason, honey. You keep moving forward. I just need to see if this is gonna work. It's like, this only works if you have like a 1980 vehicle. <laughs> right? Because now I think they must have like something over it. I'm, to I'm not making, it wasn't hot. Well, I'm worried about the exhaust and also your gas. Is this just burning your gas? Wait, what does the exhaust have to do with it? Don't people like unalive themselves with car exhaust? They just leave the car running? Yeah, if they're in the, the garage, a closed garage. This is fine. <laughs> okay, I'm just checking. I mean, you're the one that's gonna eat it. It's cold. Should I go in there and rub the engine? No, you're crazy. Why? Is that dangerous? Don't rub the engine, it scares me. But I think that's like, it gets it going, right? It scares me. 
I can't handle the throttle. I think that cheese is gonna be very raw. I can't handle the horsepower right now. I'm having anxiety. <laughs> My anxiety is saying that she's gonna rev that engine right into Joe's Tesla and he's gonna leave me. Because <laughs> just like when I hit Riley's house, I wanna be financially responsible for the damage that I do, but I cannot be. Wait, did it do any damage? Yeah, his house, house is fucked. Is that what I can't it's not fucked. It's not fucked. There's structural damage. <laughs> From your pre. Yeah. That's how I knew I did it. Because when I went and looked at the house, there was damage to the house. In my mind, I was like, next time you go to Raylan's house, just look. So how do you get the park button to work? I just hit it again and it worked. See, all of it sounds like it a sounds lie. Very it sounds very suspicious. Very suspicious. Like, suspicious. I get it. I hear it. I hear me. <laughs> I hear it. 33 now. Listen, oh. the guy that did this seemed very, very confident in, like, getting the party started with the engine panini. He was positive that a party could only start with an engine <laughs> panini. <laughs> and he had two of them. Yeah, and he, well, he was in a Jeep Wrangler. I don't know if that makes a difference. I'm it? positive my whole head is out of frame. <laughs> I don't even think I'm in frame. <laughs> no, you are. I framed you up. You don't gotta go low. I just feel like we keep going lower. <laughs> if you hit the millennial girl squat, you're in frame. <laughs> Can you see me? Oh, can you hear the cheese melting? Yeah. It's like. All right, Sandy. Should we see what the situation is? Let's check it out. Okay. Oh, shit. Tap it first. Oh, yeah. Is it warm? Heck no. No. Should I go to open it? Yeah. It's melty. Uh huh. No, it's not. No. All right, this is where we give up. <laughs> Are we giving up? We'll slide it back oh, down. Oh no, you know what? It's getting warmer. Okay, we're gonna keep trying. Okay, Sandy just said, "What do you want to do if this time it's a fail?" And I said, "Give up." And I said, "No way. That's not competitive." But guess what? We're probably gonna give up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have a good feeling about this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Not hot enough right hand touch. I guess I should do a disclaimer. Don't distractly touch your running engine. It's cold. It's cold to the touch. <laughs> Let's slap this bad boy into the actual oven and yeah. It looks a little melted right here. Oh look, do you see that? It's sweaty. Yes. We sweated it out, you guys. <laughs> Sandy, thank you so much. <laughs> it's probably because these are new cars. I think that's the only reason. Yeah. So I think if you have an older car, or if you have a Jeep Wrangler and you love to party, <laughs> I think it's really the, you have to have the want to party. That's the only way I think it's gonna work. Yeah. Maybe we just don't want to party enough. We, you got, you gotta want it. <laughs> Are you just gonna eat it? Yeah. All right, Sandy. This panini might be raw, as but you are a fully cooked woman. I don't know what. <laughs> Crouch in here with me. Hello. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's raw as fuck. <laughs> Thank you so much for this idea. You're welcome. I think it was really fun. Yes. More than anything, I love getting to hang out with you. <laughs> Same. Wow, that is disgusting. It looks delicious, though, if it were melted. It was not good. <laughs> Don't try it out. Anyways, head over to Sandy's channel. Watch us make some cute-ass, festive-ass, vlogmas-ass cupcakes. Yes. And, do you know my sign off? Uh, see you next Tuesday. Hell Is that yeah. It? <laughs> we're starting Vlogmas this week though, bitches, so I'll see you on Friday, December 1st. We're raw dog and Vlogmas. <laughs>